Oh! There she is. Let's do a little wide angle here. For those that don't know, you can run these off of a bottle. Just the, the uh, supply and return, put it into a little gallon jug, let you bypass the tank. It's good if one's been sitting. It's also good if you want to run it with the tank off. I actually did that because I want to uh, clean that tank up. It's got some rust stuff on the bottom of it. Like that corner right there. Assuming I even want to put that tank back in there because it sticks back further. I haven't gotten that far. Look, all these nuts and bolts right here. Look, there's a coffee can that go in in there. Jackson was spectacular help. We tried to block it up on all four corners, and we probably spent a couple hours messing with it, and it slipped and fell over. Then I decided to drag it with uh, the tractor because the box was actually sitting on one of the wheels. And I just pushed it off and tore up a light. It's got some scratches on it. I actually caved in that door over there. I wonder what she looks like in here. Oh, not bad. That cabinet was actually loose. That was not. There's a fifth wheel or a gooseneck plate a buddy of mine gave me. It landed on this side. Huh. Crazy how strong they are. But I didn't really want it in the middle of the yard like this. But I also am not going to let one of us get hurt. You know, it's funny, Jackson's 16 now. And, you know, I've always had around helping. Not that he was much help when he was little. But, you know, Tim turning into a man, man, he packed all these blocks like 14 different times. Here, there, and everywhere. Would have been hard to, for me to do it without him. So, like I say, that's all apart. Uh, I think he recorded uh, the me taking this off with the tractor, so I'll go ahead and add it to the end here, and that'll end the video. You guys be good and be safe. We're one step closer to really getting a good start on Project 7-3 Squared. You all have a good one. Pick a... Thank <laughs> you.